What's going on guys, Austin's Prime here, and welcome back to another reaction video. Today's reaction video, we're going to be watching episode 2 of the Transformers Animated Series. I'm pretty excited to get into this. Last episode, we got to meet the Autobots, got to meet some of the Decepticons. I feel like there's more characters that I kind of remember appearing in like toy form. But uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see. But uh, last week's episode was a pretty neat introduction. And uh, I'm just excited to see where the show takes us. At the end of the episode, we left off with that nasty roach thing growing and turning into a big nasty monster. And then just went ahead and tried to eat the kids. So we'll see what gets resolved there. And then the Autobots uh, are also on Earth now. I don't know if they've awakened yet or if they're asleep, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So let's start episode two with Transformers Animated. Burgerbot. Whoa, that's Bumblebee. All units proceed to some deck robot plant go, go, go. Hey, that looks like Prime. Oh, that is disgusting. Okay, I think I get what's happening. Those are all the alt modes, right? Because that looks like Bulkhead, and that one looks like Ratchet. Okay. This is gross. At least it doesn't look like a giant roach, you know? Smart bombs. They really back punch. No. I know what's going to happen. I think. Is it going to multiply? So, we don't want to attract attention in case the Decepticons are still out there watching. Teletran 1, scan the local life forms. We can take on their appearance and blend in better. Cool. Oh, I like that the effect is it's just like the G1 show. I like how it changed the designs just slightly, too. Pretty cool. Transform and roll out! Yeah. Not bad, huh? Roomy. Huh. I want the. Hey, where are the drivers? How is my car driving itself? He's gonna have to transform. Must be some kind of pet. Why would the four-legged bot want to pet that big? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Hi, little creature. My name's Bulkhead. Did you lose your owner bot? Felt that. Whatever it is, it needs our help. Autobots, transform! Ooh. Up to move. I'm liking Prowl's design more and more. It's a little different, you know? And it's neat. Yeah, you big old arms. It's huge, wow. I like that, that was awesome. That's my daughter! Autobots, attack! Oh, fake nice, nice. Units, engage the yellow robot, but don't harm the girl. Engage? Aye, aye, aye. Humans, humans, humans. Oh, interesting face mask. Did B just do that? Oh. Cool. Fix it. Really said, I'm busy. Oh wow. At my age. His finger's a USB drive. This is as hurry up as it gets. Is anyone picking up Prowl's energy signature in there? I'm beaming the override via Teletran 1. But these nanobots are so primitive, you're gonna have to upload it manually. The only way to deliver this fix 
voice is from inside that thing. Ugh. What happens when that thing eats a whole ship? Well, let's upload this override before we find out. We need someone small and fast. Why is everybody looking at me? It's certainly getting smarter. Smart like Prowl. Bumblebee, abort! Can't stop now! That creature's merged with Prowl's comlick. He's heard everything we're saying. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah? Then hear this! You're going to... What? He should have like dove instead of just... Uh. Proud. Hey, there's the other hey, one. Hey, I was wondering where that went to. Bulkhead, load up Prowl. Carefully. The circuits are all messed up. I really like Optimus Prime's armor. Bumblebee, is that you? Sorry? And don't touch anything. Yes! We'll see if that happens. I mean, yes! Uh, am I gonna be able to breathe down there? <laughs> oh, sure. Let's breathe. <laughs> Let's breathe? <laughs> Will you keep down? Will you keep down loading information, you know, to <laughs> help fix Prowl? <laughs> Sorry! Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm, I must have had some bad motor oil. Bumblebee. Motor. Will you put a muffler on it and transform to robot mode? <laughs> hey. Push her down a trash chute? Oh, she see the Allspark? Or... What the heck is that? Whoa! Okay. That was, was that? weird. Yeah, it was. Did we just have a conversation? You owe me my security deposit. Whoa! Is that Prime? How oh, did you get aboard it was the Ospark. It followed me home. Can I keep it? I <laughs> can't. Circuit damage is too extensive. I can't keep them stable. Interesting. Okay. Is this better? That is quite the cure. Whoa, what is this? Okay, okay, well, guys, you they can actually put your hands it. down now. So, can we keep them? Oh, that's so cool. They're actually, like, gonna be allies with humans. The Autobots ...and extend a hand of friendship from the entire human race to Optimus Prime, the leader of this brave band of heroes. Is this what it was like in your day? The Decepticons didn't leave us very much to cheer about. Things are gonna change when they show up. Fifty solar cycles of searching. And they show up. But the Allspark is out there. It's been obsessing for 50 million years, I think. An awfully remote sector. Still, it looks promising. Why did it detect it now? Because Extremely it got used? Promising. Cool. Oh, wow. That was really fast. Alrighty, guys. That was episode two of the Transformers Animated. 
yet again another really fun episode i really like the vibe the show gives off i thought it was super cool to see the human interaction and the autobots interaction it wasn't much and what i mean by that is really more of how it wasn't like our normal typical human and autobot interaction where humans are just like no bad 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 and this one it was like bad but like oh wait they actually helped so I thought that was pretty cool. I wonder if that might change at some point down the road. I don't know. At least we'll have to see maybe when the Decepticons show up. But uh, I like that the overall human aspect of it trusts the Autobots right off the bat, the beginning. Because there's other uh, variations, mainly the movies. Uh, I don't really remember much about that in Transformers Prime except for the couple humans that know them. But it's cool to see like a huge population of humans trust the Autobots. And uh, I thought it was very interesting. Starscream has been spent has spent the last fifty million hunting the Allspark. It seems like, and he's gonna find it. Uh, it seems like, from because uh, it was activated when, uh, sorry, Sadi, Sar, I forgot, I forgot her say name. Or she looked at it and then it gave all kinds of information. I saw the Ark. I'm guessing that's the name of the ship. I'm guessing it has the same name, just different design. Uh, Megatron. I think I saw Starscream in there. I think I saw her dad and her. And then it transformed her badge into a key. I thought it looked like a key. And then it completely fixed Prowl, which was interesting to see. So that was pretty cool. It did kind of get a little, something a little spoiled for me. I mentioned in episode one how I liked the Megatron uh, design. But I do rem I completely forgot. I came across an image on Instagram of a different design. And I was like... That's right. That's how I remember him looking. I don't remember him looking how he looked in episode one, which looked a lot like his Transformers Prime counterpart. So I thought that was very cool. And uh, obviously, I know Megatron's coming back somehow, some way, some shape or form. But um, it'll be cool to see that design because that is more of a G1 style design. But um, that will be pretty cool to see. So, yeah, guys, those are my uh, initial thoughts and reaction to Transformers Animated Episode 2. So, yeah, guys, if you made it this far in the video, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Go ahead and leave a comment what you think. And turn on those notification bells to see when new videos are up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.